Hello everyone and welcome to our second royal reading here at Mad World Tarot, Wednesday afternoon as I'm doing the readings and I'm keeping the new Palladini Tarot on the tarot table. It's a good um, tarot deck for me to read on the King's energy and of course today is about King Charles and the unfortunate circumstances he seems to be finding himself in connected with his younger son Prince Harry and the story that I'm looking at now is this ludicrous story that we have been hearing recently that the King is going to make a stopover uh, on the way to Australia later this year. He's going to stop off in California, hang out at Madrid slide mention and uh, visit Harry and Meghan and this is of this story is coming from Tom Quinn who says that the king is desperate to end the feud and realizes that the only way to do so is to visit Harry and Meghan on their home turf in California and particularly if he wants to see his grandchildren this is what's going on there are discussions around this it will be a discreet visit nothing in my opinion is discreet when it comes to Harry and Meghan but anyway this is Tom Quinn's take on the matter and of course Camilla and Prince William Queen Camilla Prince William are opposed to this uh, what a surprise but the king is determined to do this Yes, of course he is. Uh, never mind the open invitation to visit uh, at Balmoral. No, no. A man who is suffering from cancer, undergoing rigorous cancer treatment, is going to fly to California, risk um, all kinds of security breaches, hang out with people he doesn't seem to even trust to have a phone call with, but no, he's going to hang out at their home and uh, perhaps even appear on a Netflix documentary uh, in due course. I'm being very snarky. I'm entitled to be because I'm doing tarot and it is all for fun and entertainment and it is all my opinion and all speculation and we just read energy and we are going to read the energy of this, in my opinion, ludicrous story and see what's what around it. There is, of course, a disclaimer in the box below. Please read it. Please form your own opinions about what might be going on. But for me, as a tarot reader, as an energy reader, I want to know who is behind the story and why are we hearing about it now? Uh, is the king desperate to end the feud uh, and desperate to see his grandchildren? We will ask that because we have been told by Tom Quinn that this is indeed the case. So I think we're entitled to look at the energy around those claims, don't you? And um, we'll ask uh, if the king, how, the, how does the king feel about uh, stopping off in California on his way through to Australia? Never mind that he has already cancelled his trip to New Zealand and Fiji and also scaled down his tour of Australia because of his health uh, issues but uh, how, how does he feel about flying to California to make peace with his younger son grovel and uh, big and you know um, crown them right there and then you can have the throne you and your lovely wife and your children that I've never met and um, so how does the king feel about that bit of snark again there and uh, are we going to see this one more shuffle uh, because I nearly went unconscious in that moment thinking um, of what a startling sight that would be King Charles um, turning up at the gates of Mudslide Mansion to um, sue for peace ah, okay we're good to go let's see who and why about the story who and why king desperate to end feud that's the who and why it should be hue and cry shouldn't it uh desperate to end feud desperate to see grandchildren uh feelings about flying to california are we going to see him mudslide mansion and uh no that's all that's all that card wanted to come out we got the eight of swords we have a trap we have a trap and we even have the ten of swords also and look the nine of swords it's just terrible energy and uh, <laughs> it just gets worse there's the death card there's the seven of swords we we'll take these ones away uh, we're going to leave those two and the reason we're going to leave those two is it's because it's the energy of this story the desperate energy of the story it's not the king's energy 
let me assure you, it's not the king's energy. The king is not the one who feels like he's in a terrible predicament and it is the ruin of him. That's not the king's energy. That is the energy of Montecito for me as a tarot reader. Terrible predicament, a self-made predicament, a trap. Eight of Swords. What to do? It's causing ruin. The end. Ten of Swords. That it should come to this. It has. It has at this point. It very clearly has. But let's see the situation that we are dealing with today. We're dealing with a high priestess in reverse. That is secrets that are coming out that are potentially being exposed. Um, it is uh, a card that's to do sometimes in tarot with hormones, childbirth, pregnancies, things like that, women's issues. It's in reverse. So secrets around those could be coming out. I keep seeing little hints, little whispers of that in the readings and there are big hints around and about and people who know a whole lot more and have uh, confidential sources and who claim to know a whole lot more that this story could really be about to burst, to break. It's coming through for me there. It's also uh, more and more in these readings. It's a sense that High Priestess of manifesting of um, and I don't mean this literally, of kind of magical thinking. Um, let me, you know, put eye of newt or whatever in my cauldron. I'm being snarky and uh, make stuff happen. It's in reverse. So it's a little bit dark, that energy of manifesting uh, through those kinds of rather ritualistic processes. I'm choosing my words as carefully as possible. Um, but that is energy that is sitting in that High Priestess card as well, in reverse. Just so you know, that's energy that's coming through for me as a tarot reader and is coming through quite frequently with that card. Just so you know. Let's move on to who and why. So who's behind this Tom Quinn story? Three of Pentacles, we have a little team. The Three of Pentacles. It's a minion that is trotting to and fro with the story uh, threes. So one would be Tom Quinn, who is the one who types it on his laptop and submits it to wherever. Uh, the one I would say, my opinion, I'm speculating, uh, the one who would be the origin of the story, very likely in the Munchslide Mansion, given the nature of the artwork on this card, and the minion that is trotting to and fro. We have new PR people. We were told that recently. We suspect because um, WME are no longer cooperating. Uh, but we have a new PR person in the United States and a new PR person in the UK. And since that new PR person has been appointed in the UK, we have been hearing these kinds of wild tales. And uh, I think that that is what the Three of Pentacles is telling us. That is, of course, my opinion. Why are we hearing this story now about the king uh, stopping off in California? Page of Swords in reverse. It's clapback time. Page of Swords in the reverse. Page of Swords is social media, is rumours and gossip, especially when it's in reverse. Um, trolls, those kinds of things. Uh, opinion polls in newspapers, online newspapers, uh, petitions, things like that. All of this chatter, uh, speculation, rumour, gossip could be about the issues around the High Priestess I've already talked about in this reading. Got to do something about it, got to stop it, got to silence it. Oh, I know what. Yeah, let's tell everyone that the king is coming to visit us here because he's desperate to end this feud and see his grandchildren and he knows that we can only sort this out if he comes to us, the king of England. And I'm letting that sink in, the enormity of it. So, to the king himself, the poor king, desperate to end the feud, in general terms, not in California. Six of rods in reverse. It's the defeat card. He feels defeated by it. That's not desperate to end feud. That's I've already given up. I can't see any um, positive outcome for this 
I get that energy frequently and one of the things I like to do as a tarot reader is to uh, see how consistent the energy is that comes through for me as a reader and that is consistent energy. The king, as far as I can tell, energetically has given up. Doesn't think that the situation will resolve anytime soon. Uh, might resolve later on and I'm sure that there are plans for if uh, there is a need to stage some sort of rescue. Uh, that's my opinion. I'm going off topic here in this reading but that is what seems to be the case for me. I'm just expressing speculation. Uh, grandchildren, desperate to see his grandchildren, of course open offer to Balmoral, again given up. Heavy burden, there is something very difficult about this grandchildren situation, ten of rods, terrible burden is suddenly getting terribly dark because winter has come back with a vengeance today and it's about to bucket down with rain. Uh, we've had uh, summer recently, the last few weeks. Um, hi summer, now we're in deep midwinter. Ten of wands for the king. It's an impossible situation. It's a terrible burden. It's something he would love to just let go of. I'm getting two energies in here of give up, let go, don't want to have to deal with it. It couldn't be worse. I'm not getting peacemaking energy in there. I'm getting, I would love this to just leave my life. Uh, feelings about visiting California, generally, the king. Six of cups in reverse. Uh, that's a not a reconciliation card. It's the opposite of reconciliation. Upright, the six of cups, one of its meanings is reconciliation. Uh, reconnecting with people from the past, your friends, your family, childhood memories, happy times. It's in reverse. No. No. It's sorrow. It's disruption, it's chaos, it's disharmony, it's sadness about things that were innocent and happy uh, once upon a time but now are awful memories, things you don't want to think about, things you'd rather forget, ignore, um, put behind you really. I'm getting eight of cups energy with that six of cups just by the way. I mean look at these eight of swords and ten of swords. Uh, I said that that's Montecito energy and Montecito has shown up that four Italian villary thing that they've got going there in, in Montecito. There is this ten of swords though in there. It, it's in here. It's just too terrible. So likelihood of um, I was going to say Air Force One, but the equivalent landing in California, in LA, driving to Montecito and um, hello, uh, Netflix cameras rolling. I'm being snarky, snarky. Oh, it's so dark. Goodness me, it's so dark. Never five of cups. Never. Just sorrow. The sorrow that I was sensing in the six of cups and said is eight of cups. It's here. Five of cups. Grief. And I don't think it's the king's energy necessarily that I'm seeing here. The king's washed his hands of it. I think he's quite good at doing that, actually. Ostrich kind of a thing seems to be a Windsor family trait. Oh, well, never mind. We just ignore it and it will go away. There. This is... In fact, you could say... Uh, the couple, the happy couple in Montecito, she, the Eight of Swords, he, the Ten of Swords, the has-beens, the parkours, that is that energy of ruin, despair, loss, grief, sorrow, regret, remorse, so, so cut off from that castle, so far away from home, so lost, so broken, even though going to get in its fancy dress, put its medals on, and apparently Megan is going to grace the Espies in something of Princess Diana's. We don't know if it's jewelry, if it's clothes. I would like to see the clothes. Uh, that would be quite a sight. And uh, they're going to brave the SB Awards hand in hand and um, show how popular they are and worthy and deserving and what good work they are doing, humanitarian work. That is the true energy there for me as a tarot reader. I've seen the king's energy, I have seen why, who and why, and uh, there it is. 
in my opinion, of course. That is the reading and thank you very much for watching and I'm going to go and light a fire now. I will see you again tomorrow.